Stop recording. Hi guys, so I was gonna do this video last week, but my phone was not uploading it because I ran out of space on my phone. And when you have a 16 gig phone, you're constantly going through your apps and seeing what you really need, what you really don't need, things like that. And you can't keep everything. So I'm gonna do this now. And I do want to do a Mother's Day video. I'm I'm not a mother, but I want to talk about what I did yesterday, but I'll do that in a separate video so that this isn't too long. So I know I usually don't do story time on Mondays, but last week I was going to do it. I think I did it on either Wednesday or Friday. I think it was Wednesday I did it. Yeah, Wednesday I did it. And I wanted to do it again, and I never did. So I figured story time... I haven't really been keeping up with the dates, so I just figure story time would just be once a week, but I'm still going to try to keep it on like Tuesday or Thursday, just so I could just have like a, a schedule so you guys aren't like, oh, there's a story time today, and so that you're not seeing it like all different days of the week. So, let's see, so I think t tomorrow, tomorrow when it actually is story time, I'll talk about what I did for Mother's Day. I'll do it that way. Okay, so I wanted to talk today about something that happened to me when I took a creative writing class in college. I went to a community college at one point. I got my associate's degree in education and I'm going to try to make this quick so this video isn't too long, but I took a creative writing class and I had a professor who was a snot. Okay. She was not willing to work with me. She was, she was not willing to work with me. She was like trying to get me to drop her class. She didn't want me in the class. So I come to class and first the first day of class, I was sitting. I was using my computer because I couldn't write like everybody else. So I, I needed to use my computer. So I put my set up my laptop and I'm using headphones and I have them in while she's talking. But I just this in case I need to write something down so I could listen to my computer talking. And so my teacher, she said, "What, what are you wearing your headphones for?" You know, I said, "Well, because my computer talks." And she said, "Well, what is it saying?" And I'm, I said. Uh, it's a screen reader. It reads to me what's on the screen. So, I think she was okay with that then. And then, um, we were talking, and she was like, I, she's like, I don't know how to work with you in this class, because I don't, because this is a writing class. I don't know how, I don't know what we should do, and all this stuff. And, like, I said, look, what you can do is, I need to scan the assignments in so I have them ready. So, if you give me the work ahead of time, I can scan it in. Because I, if she gave it to me during class, I would be, by the time I finished scanning it, the class would have moved on. So I want to, so the, the ideal thing would be for me to have it ready. And she said, well, you know, I can't do that because I need to, I don't prepare my lessons until Sunday night. Because we had the class on Monday morning. So she said she doesn't prepare her, she doesn't plan her lessons until Sunday night. Which I don't know if I, that's kind of hard, I find that hard to believe. Because teachers are supposed to plan their lessons like like when uh, around certain time frames and stuff so I was like I mean I went with it I was like oh okay well maybe we could like I don't know we could figure something out maybe you could email them to me or something and she just wasn't not willing to budge so then she had told me that we do peer reviews because like for example we we write essays and then we review them so um somebody would read mine I would read theirs we get in a group and we give each other feedback now I took another English class where we were using computers and what we did was since all the students were using computers it was a computer room it was a computer class it was a right one was a research class and one was a like an essay writing class so we for both classes that I took we used a computer so what we did was exchange flash drives so I gave the student my flash drive and they put their flash drive into my computer. So I was able to read it and they told me which file it was and I was able to read it, they were able to read mine and that was how we did it and then we gave each other feedback. So, yeah, so that was, and but I told her about that and she said, no, we can't do that because, I mean, it is, it wasn't a computer class. I was the only one using the computer because I couldn't write. So what we did what we wound up doing was the teachers, we got in the group, the teacher read my, they, they, the students read the papers aloud. So they read my paper aloud, and then they read their paper aloud to me, and, um, and then I was able to give them feedback that way. They just read their papers out loud. And because what happened was, 
I went to my uh, disabilities counselor when this happened. Cause it was like the third week, and the teacher said, "Okay, so I don't know what we're, we're going to do here. You know, I think it's it'd be a good idea for you to move into an online class or something." And that was just a nice way of saying, like, you know, I don't want you in my class. And I said, "Well, we could just try to wing it." She's like, "Well, we've been trying to wing it for the past two weeks, and it it hasn't been working." And I was like, "Well." We could make it work. We could, and she gave me an ad drop form to like to drop the class. And I said, "Well, I'll come back next week." And she said, "Well, you know, you can come back and say hi, whatever." But I wouldn't recommend you coming back for class again. A nice way of saying、uh, I rather not have you in my class. So I went to my disabilities counselor and I talked to him about it. And I talked to him about the whole flash drive exchanging thing. And he remembers that from the English classes that I took previously. And he said, "Yeah, that's that worked out really well." When you brought that up, I thought that was a great idea, and we were and we were all like, "Well, let's do it," and we all thought that was a great idea. And I don't understand why the teacher you have now won't let you do that. And I was like, "I don't know." So we talked about it, and he talked to her. He talked to the dean of the college, and I didn't want to go back there because I just did, I didn't want to go back. I was I wasn't sure what she was going to say. If she was going to tell me to leave, and. My, I, what all I did, I was, I had a plan. I was gonna tell her. I was gonna sit down, get set up, and I was gonna tell her. Look, until, until the dean takes care of it, I'm yours. And yeah, that's. I mean, I didn't have to worry about that because they really like were they were working on it. So she was a little bit more like cooperative, I guess you could say. Like she was,、um, she worked with me more. Like there was a time when she gave me an assignment ahead of time. I had actually emailed her an assignment once because I didn't have ink in my printer, and you know you can't just say, "Oh, I didn't have ink." That's not an excuse. So I I emailed her an assignment, and I told her I was like, "Oh, I emailed you mine," and she said she printed it. So and then there was one time when we were doing a picture prompt, and、um, there was it was it was picture prompt where you know you have a picture, you write a story. We had did something very similar to that. So the student next to me, he said to me, he said, "Oh, because the teacher was like about to describe the picture to me." And this, this, the boy next to me said,、um, "Oh, I can, I can describe it to her." And she's like, "She, the teacher said, 'No, you have your own work to do.'" And I was like, "I was like, that's just." I mean, he wasn't doing anything. It wasn't like he was going to do my work for me. I mean. It, He was just gonna describe the picture to me, and then we were just gonna we were, we were each gonna do our own work. He was just gonna describe the picture to me. I would do my work, and he would do his work. But she was just being a snot because she wouldn't let she wouldn't let him read it to me. So I remember that when I first took the class, the teacher said, "Oh, you're not gonna pass, whatever," because she wasn't willing to work with me. But then I wound up passing. So yeah, that's that's good. And I. Was to tell you guys that story. So, yeah. So I'm gonna end this video now, and I'm going to, you know, upload this. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a, a thumbs up.、And、yeah. So, be sure to comment, like, subscribe, and all that.